Hey everyone, welcome back to the basement and I'm into 3D printing. And even though I have this AMS light, I do have a lot of filament that I use this little filament dryer for. What is this? This is the Sunlu S2 filament dryer. It's the S2, so this means it only dries a single filament roll. This thing works great and it's really easy to use. Let me show you. All right, so right now I'm running a set of PLA filament through here and it's pretty simple and straightforward. You can see on the screen here that it's set for PLA. It has the temperature on there that it's running at right now, which is about 97 degrees. And you can see the relative humidity, which is right now at 42%. But let's say I was using a product other than the PLA. Well, that's pretty easy. I just hit the set button and scroll down here until I get to the material. And then I can scroll through to PC, PA, ABS, TPU, PETG, all the way through back to PLA. And then this item will set all the temperatures, the time, and everything you need for it. And what's nice about this is you can see the filament coming out the top here. This has two holes, one here and one here. So no matter how you put the spool in, it'll work. But this can load directly into your 3D printer and then you can use it that way. But what you wanna know is would I recommend this or would I buy it again? I actually would recommend this and I would buy this again because if you don't know anything about 3D printing, if you have dry filament, it's gonna print better than if there's a lot of moisture trapped inside the filament. You know how the whole 3D printing thing works with heating up and moisture and heat it necessarily doesn't always make the best combination. This helps cure that. It's very easy to use, it's straightforward, it's low power, and it's kind of budget friendly too. So as always, I hope these short reviews help with your purchasing decision and I hope you enjoy the rest of your shopping day.